You've probably heard that it's very important to back up all of your data and all of your music files, but how can we actually do this in FL Studio? I'm Michael, you're watching In The Mix, and in this video we're going to show you three things. We're going to show you how to make a project folder for your project so that you can store the FLP file in there and all the samples and information so that you don't accidentally delete anything from your computer, it's in a safe place. We're also going to show you how to zip a project. This will zip all of the information into one compact folder that you can either share or put on an external hard drive or put onto a, an online storage such as Google Drive so that your project, all the stems, all the MIDI information is safe for the future. And the third thing we're going to do is show you how to export all the tracks or stems in your song both with and without effects in case you need them in the future or in case your computer crashes. At the very end of this video I'm going to talk a little bit about how I specifically do backups and why I think it's important, but for now let's just start with step one. So this involves making a folder on your computer. The FLP file will be saved into this folder along with any recorded audio you happen to record or any sounds and samples you're using in this project. Now FL Studio makes this process very simple. From the taskbar at the top of FL Studio all you have to do is navigate to Options, File Settings, and then select the Project tab and then you can select a data folder by clicking here and you can navigate to a folder you've made or you can create one right there. You can do this when you start a project or you can do it later on in the project. If you choose to do it later on, it might prompt you asking you to save the project there. In that case, you can just say yes and it will save a new version of your project in this folder along with all the sounds and samples. If you don't make a project folder for each project, all the sounds and samples and recorded audio will be saved in a default location on your computer. So sometimes this default location can be cleared or cleaned out by the computer and this is why some people's files corrupt or it says that it can't find the audio clips and it's really really frustrating so making a project folder definitely helps it just keeps everything clean and organized so on to step two and this is how to zip a project into one compact folder that you can save on an external drive or online storage so FL Studio makes this very simple again from the menu at the top you simply select file export and then select zipped loop package. You can choose a location and a name and then it will begin to save it and you can see the progress in this little dialog box here. This folder now contains the FLP file, all the sounds and samples, all the MIDI information, VST settings, your effects settings and whatnot so that anyone in the whole world can open it as long as they have FL Studio and have the same VSTs as you and it should open up really well and work. We've opened projects that are two years old. When we unzipped them they still opened up and worked really well so that's definitely Definitely a very foolproof and easy way to save your projects. So step three involves exporting all the stems in your song both with and without effects. So what this means is that any audio that runs through a mixer track will be exported for the whole duration of the song and you can take all of these stems and pull them into a new project in case you lose your old project. We do have a video showing all the specifics of doing this and it is quite simple but there's just a few little audio settings to check for but it pretty much involves going to the menu file export exporting as a WAV file and then checking this little box to split all the mixer tracks and export all of them at the same time. I'll link the full video just here and in the description in case you want to go see that to make sure that all the settings are perfect. Just to wrap those last two points up, exporting the zip file and exporting the stems, you'll want to make sure that you take these files and then store them on an external hard drive and also potentially on like an online file storage. The more places you have this data saved, the safer you're going to be because if one of them breaks, you've got a backup in another place. You've got like a backup of a backup. Some people suggest saving data in like three or four different places. You don't have to go crazy with it. As long as it's on your computer and it's maybe on a hard drive somewhere and the really important stuff is backed up online that should be really safe so that's the technical stuff talked about but I just wanted to say a few words so I know it can be really really stressful when a project malfunctions or it breaks especially if you've been working on it for a long time and this really does happen to everyone we've had a project where we were working on it for about 75 hours we were in the last stages of the mixing and it, everything just wasn't working the samples were going missing everything was being sent to the wrong place and it was it was haywire after we'd spent weeks working on this project but because we had backups we could simply go to an older version we lost maybe a day or half a day of work and then we can just keep going from there and it wasn't as stressful and also having the stems saved online it meant that even if our computer just crashed or caught on fire or the studio went up in flames we'd still somehow be able to recreate the song or, or, or have the memory of it so that we could recreate it from scratch. And if you focus on your own skills and trust yourself, you should be able to recreate all the sounds and arrangement and stuff in your project as well. Although these methods of backing up are quick and simple, sometimes they can get a little bit tedious. So what we tend to do is if we're at the start of a project, 
we'll sort of zip a project one day and then we'll maybe export the stems the next day and then the, the day after that we'll zip it again so that we're not doing all the backing up every day all the time and we're just doing what we think we really need to so that it's a little bit quicker but if we're getting to the end of a project maybe we've already been working on it for a few weeks so that's when we start doing backups very very regularly so on the latest song we're working on, sometimes we have three or four zipped loop projects in one day, or we've exported the stems from it twice in the same day with and without effects because we're so close to the finish line and we're making really, really important little changes. And it just gives us a lot more peace of mind because the later on you get in a project, the bigger the project gets, the more stressful it starts becoming and the more things you have to think about. And having it safely backed up just gives you one less thing to think about. You can sort of just think about the creativity and actually making music and have less stress about losing all of your data. And the last thing I'd say is just to try and not get too stressed. If you're sort of staring at your computer screen, you're frowning and it's you've lost all your data and it's gone haywire, just try to take a step back, maybe go for a walk, clear your head a little bit and come back to it because you're probably not in a very good mindset to fix the problem at the time and it's probably just giving you a whole lot of stress and it's not healthy to go through that so give yourself a little bit of a break take some time off and then try to do what you can to get your data back or start from scratch again so i hope this video has helped you thank you very much for watching i hope you have a great week and i'll see you in the next one bye for now